Hey everyone, uh, so recently I filmed part one of my comic shelf tour which was my DC and Marvel comics and if you're watching this, this is part two which is Image, Vertigo and all of my independent comics as well. Um, so if you haven't seen part one, it's not absolutely imperative but I would definitely encourage you to go have a look at it if you're interested in titles from either of those companies. I will link that below so go have a look at that and then when you come back we'll be waiting for you right here. Um, so today as I said I'm going to take you through Image, Vertigo and Independence like IDW and I think I've got Avatar and a few others as well. So let's get into it. Okay so to kick off the Image Comics collection of course I have uh, The Walking Dead so I've got the first two compendiums of The Walking Dead. It does take up a lot of book space but it certainly takes up less space than buying all of the volumes separately so I'm a big fan of that. Then we have, and, and again my collections are never in any sort of order so I know some of you will hate that. I have volume one of Bitch Planet which I'm really loving. It's kind of like if Orange is the New Black had a comic series to me. It's really cool. Uh, and I have the first four volumes of Chew. You can see one still in the plastic. I haven't quite gotten up to uh, volume four just yet, but that is a fantastic series. Followed by Deadly Class, volumes one and two. Again, a favorite. I really, really enjoy that. Um, this series, Fatal, I haven't, or Fatal, I think it is pronounced. I haven't um, quite gotten up to that, but I have the first two volumes. And then we're followed by the Hack slash Omnibus 1 and 2. Uh, I read most of Volume 1 and it's not too bad, but I just need some time to continue reading. I kind of um, am pretty into a lot of the horror comics, so for me they're pretty cool. Uh, next we have I Kill Giants, which uh, I did a review on this. I absolutely love it. Um, it does sort of stick out of the collection a bit too much for my liking, but it's a pretty cool book. Uh, we have Morning Glories Volume 1, which I have not yet read, uh, and Outcast Volume 1, which I have also reviewed. I love that book. And Revival, which, uh, sorry, my filming skills are horrible today. Uh, so I've got Revival Volumes 2, 3, 4, 5. I do have the first one digitally. I just uh, need to get through that one because I've heard really good things. Uh, next, just before we get some of my singles, we have Saga uh, Volumes 1 to 4. This is a really, really, really good series. Uh, Saga and The Walking Dead were the two comics that actually got me into Image in general. So if you've not read any of Image's titles, I highly recommend those two to get into. Okay, and on the bottom shelf, firstly, we have my UFC 193 program because I often just don't know where to put them. So it's, you know, a corner there. Uh, we have some comics that I have reviewed on the channel before. So Southern Bastards Volumes 1 and 2 and also Sex Criminals Volume 1 and 2, which are all really great titles. And we've also got Witches Volume 1 by Scott Snyder. I have so much of this Preacher book and to be fair, I haven't read any of them. Um, so I don't know why I invested in all of them when I don't even know if I like it yet. Um, well, I do know I got them all for 50% off. So <laughs> that's the reason. Um, but I'm halfway through book one. It seems to be pretty good. I know that there's going to be a TV show on that one. So um, I probably want to continue reading that pretty soon. Um, then I've got the Brian K. Vaughan version of Swamp Thing Volume 1, um, which I'm yet to read, again, with some of the other titles I've got here. Um, Fables. I love Fables. Um, so I have the first seven volumes, and I think I'm up to volume... Uh, I've, I've finished volume five, so I'm about to start volume six at some point soon. Um, I have Why the Last Man, which I have started reading, and it's actually pretty solid, but I need to read all the way through. And Bodies, uh, which I have not yet read. Sweet Tooth, I have reviewed this on the channel before, 
Um, I have read the first two volumes of this and I've got the first three. Um, this is a fantastic series um, and I can't highly enough recommend it. Um, I have Demo by Brian Wood. This was recommended by my friend and um, I love it. Uh, this full, filled with a whole bunch of short stories that are not connected um, apart from each of the teenagers have like extraordinary powers. So that's really cool. Every story is very different. Um, then moving on to, sorry, Demo is actually Dark Horse. So we've moved on from Image and Vertigo. I probably didn't do a very good job of explaining that. And we're moving on to Dark Horse. So I have volumes one and two of the Umbrella Academy, which is written by Gerard Way from My Chemical Romance. So of course I had to get it. And likewise, we have The True Lives of the Fabulous Killjoys, which is also written by Gerard Way. Um, we have Lady Killer, which I loved. If you guys have not read Lady Killer, you need to get this. This is a one shot. So um, I have that first volume. I also have the first three volumes of Kick-Ass, which is a fantastic series. And I have the first two volumes of The Boys, which I've heard that they're turning into a TV show as well. I have not read this yet, so I need to do that shortly. Um, Gail Simone, you guys have know uh, that I've been uh, reading this one. I have reviewed it on my channel before, um, volumes one and two. Uh, this is a really, really good run. I am definitely behind in this in terms of my collection. Um, so I need to buy a few more, I think. I'm not really sure where they're up to with this. And Crossed. <laughs> Uh, it's a series that I'm really conflicted on. I don't even know if I like it, but I've got the first five volumes because, again, half price. Um, so I couldn't say no to that. I um, I don't know. I've reviewed this one before and part of me likes some of it and part of me thinks it's deplorable. So <laughs> I'm sort of stuck in between two things there. Uh, I have volumes one and two of the Teenage Mutant Ninja, Ninja Turtles, like the classic series, uh, just because it's a bit fun. And hidden away in there, I also have like the new Turtles as well, which is fantastic. They've got so many different versions of um, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles that I want to buy more of these, but I'm nervous that I'm going to buy the wrong series. So I've hesitated up until now. Uh, and then I've also got um, books one through till uh, to six of Lock and Key. Um, and I have talked about, I think, Volume 1 on this channel before. This is a really cool series. Um, if you like horror, it's a really good one. And then I've got Volumes 1 and 2 of Ghostbusters. Um, so that's pretty much it. I do have a whole bunch of my random comics down here as well. Um, so I tend to not talk about those ones. I shouldn't say I should, don't talk about them. There's some good stuff there, but just not part of my main collection. So that is my image and vertigo and independence collection. So that was part two of my comic shelf tour. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I certainly do seem to have a lot more in the digital space it seems. I was just looking at that the other day and um, I have a lot on Comixology and I have a lot on the Dark Horse app and uh, the DC and Marvel apps separate to my Comixology account as well so I need to sort of sort through that and get that under control because um yeah I've got a lot <laughs> so maybe I'll do some sort of video in the future about like what I buy online versus what I buy in a physical space um because I definitely have some methodology as to what I select to buy for my shelves and what I select to buy digitally so that might be something I'll do in the future if you're interested um let me know your thoughts below if you want to have a chat about any of the comics uh, that you've seen in part one or part two um, let me know below um, otherwise slap a like on it if you enjoyed this video it really helps me out a whole lot and if you're not yet subscribed to my videos uh, then that would help me a lot as well and hopefully you just want to see more of my videos um, I certainly am trying to put them out a lot more regularly so um, please stick around for that and yeah, that's it from me today. I hope you all have a great day. Thank you for taking the time out to watch my videos and I will talk to you all very soon. See you later.